The Ladade Kutupong constituency has a population of 183,528, according to the 2010 Population and Housing Census. Peshi Lagoon, Kotoka International Airport, and La Pleasure Beach are some landmarks in the area. Popular towns such as Laboni, Cantonment, and Nyaniba Estates, where the well to do live, are all in the Ladade Kutupong constituency. This is where it is believed the affluent in Ghana are living. The densely populated La Township, where mass unemployment is common among the youth, is also within the Lada de Kotopon constituency. Major landmarks can be found here. The Kotoka International Airport, International Trade Fair Center, American Embassy, Togo Embassy, El Wax Sports Stadium and Bema Camp are in the Lada de Kotopon constituency. The Accra Airport City, a modern business enclave, High Valley commercial property of hotels, offices and shopping malls is within the La Dade Kotopong constituency. There are five and four star hotels, airlines, banks and insurance companies as well as posh coffee shops, fashion shops and galleries. It has the best bars and nightclubs like Regis Office, Jokers and Sales Bridge. The best preparatory schools, Morning Star, Ghana International School and Soul Clinic are located here. The constituency can also boast of some of the best senior high schools in Ghana like St. Thomas Aquinas Senior High School and Laboni Senior High School. This is the Gifford Road. It meets all international standards, but there are still some bad roads within the constituency. Our roads are in a very bad shape. So left to me alone, I want the incumbent MP to be changed for another MP to come and fix our roads. Like to my house is so bad because the election authorities have now started patching some portions of the road to win votes. Also, there is lack of proper drainage systems. So we are currently at the La Landing Beach and behind me you can see the famous La Dadikotopon and canoe and with this canoe is what the fishermen here used to bring the fish that the people of La used to celebrate the La Homo Festival. Being a fishing community, some fisher folks want the incoming member of parliament to provide them with small outboard motors for their canoes. One time I see a BBB vehicle. I can show up when 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 I can show up What he has done so far in La, that will influence my vote. So I've not seen anything improving to, to interest me to vote for him so far. Well, I think they need to hire people to do this kind of job. They said there is always Saturday once in a month general clinic, and nobody is willing to do it. It as in work and pay. People will definitely do because they know there is money involved, so they will definitely come and work. The political party has favored the National Democratic Congress since 2004. In 2000, 
Masana Mwale won the parliamentary seat for the NDC by polling 42,948 votes, representing 52.2%, while Laya Bednego of the MPP polled 35,868 votes, representing 43.6%. In 2008, Nia Masana Mwale retained the seat by beating his contender Francis Nianan Soa by 42,008, representing 57.3%, as the MPP got 30,077 votes, with the CPP Cynthia Ikea Mensa amassing 1,744. In 2012, the NDC's Nia Masana Mwale again won the seats by polling 50,016 votes, representing 56.91%, whilst MPP's Oscar Neo Doe Glover polled 34,533, representing 39.29%. The PPP's Simon Sowa, who made his first 1,868 votes, representing 2.13%. The CPP's Toto Unabi Aja polled 1,339 votes, representing 1.52%, and an independent candidate, Eric Cody, polling 134 votes, representing 0.15%. The NDC's parliamentary candidate for La Dadikotopong constituency, Nia Masana Mwale, has won the seat for three consecutive times. So the question we ask asking is, can the MPP's parliamentary candidate for the area, Vincent New a surprise in the November 7th general election to wrestle the seats from the incumbent NDC. Voters in these areas normally vote for the NDC. Despite being touted as a safe seat for the ruling NDC, the MPP has rejected that claim. Political analysts say the wide margin of votes the NDC used to chalk up victories in the constituency has dwindled. They predict that more surprises could spring up in this year's election. So far, two parliamentary candidates from the biggest political the NDC and NPP have shown interest to seek the mandates of and represent the people of vigorous electioneering has not taken off. Voter apathy has set in as most rest of one party winning might change. They were disappointed that the rate constituency is still low and the expectations have not been met. We'll vote for the other part which is not known, which is not where yeah, people are not familiar with. I'm going, if I'm going to vote, I'm going to vote for one of them. The NPP NDC, we've seen much of them and we, we've seen what they can do. They've been there before so we want to change. Yeah, that's the change I need. Observers say candidates must work harder to get support for voters to build their confidence in them. Some residents believe tackling social issues will give constituents some relief. The general concern of Kevin rising unemployment, conditions of infrastructure and poor sanitation are some of the main challenge in the constituency. As I'm sitting right and I'm unemployed, I wish I would be employed or even go to school. But no, plain drafts, the improve nothing, zero percent. But well, I can't give him even one percent of out of it. And uh, well, you don't see him usually. Maybe it will be like um, this coming election year. You see him doing a campaign or something. But he will be at his house enjoying. But when it's time for a election, and you see him around. As the November polls draw closer, voters will be looking out for leaders who will solve their needs and effect change. Constituency Link will keep viewers posted on developments in La Dadekotopong.